Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode of Tech Without Fear. In this tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to merge images. And I'll be teaching how to make this and this into this. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so first thing we want to do is look for two images that are slightly similar in lighting. The advantage of this image is that it has no extreme surroundings, just shadows cast upon it. And it's not real, except this might be real, but the stem is obviously not real. And we can see right here, the shadows match with what we have over here. So we can use these two things. So what I've done is already gone ahead and done the tedious part of uh, selecting this. So just to save it while we do a couple other things. I'm just gonna make a layer via cut so we have our mouth saved and then what we have over here is our orange so I'm just gonna go and make a new document 1920 by 1080 whatever you want it to be if you're printing it increase the PPI I guess I'll just leave it at 300 so we got that over here we're gonna do is control C and control V our origin seems a little bit too big so we're just gonna resize that until it fits that seems about fitting nicely let me choose a nice color we all love a, a subtle gray So we'll just pick one here and we will apply it to the background. Also, another problem here. We don't want it to be applied over here. We want it to be applied in the background. That's why we are going to paint this layer in, move this above. So we're free to move this around without having any effect on what's over here. Now that we have this and our mouth over here, we can control C, can, oops, select it, select the, in, select the inverse, control C, control V, we have our mouth over here. Now we have our thing selected, just gonna go here and we're gonna flip it on the horizontal. And uh, we're not just gonna apply the transformation yet want to size picture approximately it seems good so we have this we can deselect our part right here oops and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in a little and we're gonna go to our pen tool right over here and then we're gonna select area around the mouth or around whatever we want this doesn't have to be 100% perfect you don't have to be Picasso while doing it but the closer you are the less work you have to do later but sometimes this pen tool can be a little annoying but not to worry for this part it's not too important because I will show you another way to get rid of it easily to make a selection get a nice feathering and we're just gonna go to this layer and delete all right you see that it's not accurate at all don't worry what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come back to our eraser right here just gonna erase this part away and voila super sharp 
could have done the eraser in the start, but it helps to get a nice perspective on what your figure is going to look like before you go about modifying everything. So now you want to go to edit, transform, and warp. See you here, you'll be able to modify your figure three dimensionally. All we want is it to line up down here. We can erase everything that goes over here. It's just over here and down here that we're more concerned about. And as you'll warp on this end, this end will get a little bit more messed up. Make sure you correct for that. This seems just about okay. Go back to eraser. Erase all the unnecessary parts. And you can see, looks really good. I love it. And well, you can do this for many other things, but if you wanna just come over here and uh, mess around with the hue and saturation, you can mess with the colors of the orange. You can make the whole thing red. And obviously you can move this down so it applies only to here. So you can do extremely funky stuff have a orange that looks like an apple turn the whole orange into a lemon and completely just erase stem up here which I also think looks pretty nice if we were to keep it like a lemon and you can also adjust the hue and saturation for this part just make sure that you erase all the stuff around here so it's not affecting your actual lemon and it's only affecting this make it super saturated if you wanted don't want to mess around with the brightness too much so then you'll start to see Changements, so just keep it at zero. Just around with the hue a little more. Seems okay, but uh, that's your tutorial on how to merge objects. Hope you had fun. You turned this and this orange now into a lemon and a monkey's mouth. And I'd say this lemon looks pretty scary. I wouldn't want to be bitten by it. Thanks for watching guys, please comment, like, and subscribe.